once again, Pastor Bob Reynolds here. Welcome to another week. We hope that you're, again, hope that you're staying, staying safe and that uh, you're healthy. You know, once in a while, we will go to a restaurant. We'll go there maybe for lunch or for dinner. We go in there and uh, the, the waiter, the person that greets us, maybe hands us a menu. And we'll go to our booth or the table and we'll read over the menu. And we can hear people maybe in back of us or somewhere around us. And I say, oh boy, boy, does that look good. And then the waiter or the waitress will come over and they'll tell us all about the menu. They'll open the menu maybe and they'll say this, they'll give you the different combinations and the different prices. And so the customer, we're sitting there and we've read over the menu and then the waiter or the waitress tells us about the menu. But then the customer doesn't just get up and say amen and go home. That's not the reason we came to the restaurant. The reason we came to the restaurant was to experience the food. That is to digest, to take in the food and digest it and to experience why we're there. You know, a lot of people go to church and they read the menu and someone may tell them about the menu, what's in the menu, that is the Bible, but they don't really experience the reason that they came. They don't experience the food. They don't, they don't take it in and digest it. In the book of Psalms, and David was a, a great person for describing worship to us. David worshiped all the time. In the book of Psalms, chapter 99, verses 1 through 5, I read these. He says, The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He dwells between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king's strength also loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord, he tells us. Exalt the Lord our God and worship as his, at his footstool. He is holy. That's why we came to the restaurant to experience Jesus and his love for us. We came to the church to be fed. Let's pray that God will feed us and that we will take the food in and digest it and really experience it. Father, the Bible is really food. And church is really a, a restaurant where we can experience the food. But we need to experience it every day. We need to experience it in our own lives, in our own homes. Just think, we have the menu right there in front of us all the time. I pray that you will bless us as we read it so that we can digest it and become more like Jesus. In his name we pray, amen.